Boeing's Starliner crew flight test is scheduled to launch on Monday, but could fly on May 7, 10 or 11, weather permitting. After years of delays, Boeing is finally ready to launch its first-ever Starliner astronaut mission for NASA on a test flight to the International Space Station on May 6. And if you're hoping to watch the launch online, you'll need to know when to tune in. But don't fret, space fans. We've got you covered. Currently, Boeing's first Starliner to carry astronauts is set to launch into orbit on Monday at 10.34 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, May 7th, 0234 GMT, atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The mission will launch NASA astronauts Barry, Butch, Wilmore, and Sunita Sunia Williams on a week-long test flight to the space station, a shakedown cruise Boeing calls its Crew Flight Test, or CFT. You can follow the mission with our Starliner Live Updates page and watch the launch live on Monday. If all goes well, Boeing's Starliner will launch the astronauts to the space station, dock on Wednesday, May 8th and return to Earth up to eight days later with a landing in the desert of the southwestern United States. Previous uncrewed test flights landed at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. NASA has picked Boeing Starliner as one of two astronaut taxis for space station flights. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft is the other, but this CFT test flight is years overdue and follows two uncrewed Starliner flights, a failed test flight in December 2019 and a successful one in May 2022. This will give us that additional capabilities because we always look for a backup, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson told reporters in a press conference on Friday, May 3rd. On Friday, Boeing and NASA agreed Starliner is ready to carry its first astronauts and gave the go-ahead for launch, so here's when and how to watch it fly on May 6th. Currently, Boeing's CFT Starliner is scheduled to launch to the ISS on Monday, May 6th, at 10.34 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, May 7th, 0234 GMT, from Space Launch Complex 41 at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. There is a 95% chance of good weather at launch time, according to Brian Sizak, launch weather officer for the 45th Weather Squadron at the Space Force Station. Boeing does have three backup opportunities in which to launch the CFT mission on May 7th, May 10th, and May 11th. The pristine weather forecast is expected to hold at least through the May 7th opportunity, which also has a 95% chance of good weather, Sizek said during Friday's press conference. Here's what to expect on Boeing Starliner's first astronaut test flight. Yes, you can watch Boeing's CFT Starliner launch and subsequent mission events live in a series of webcasts. On launch day, NASA TV will offer a live stream of the launch on May 6th beginning at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 22.30 GMT, on YouTube, NASA Plus, and its social media channels. The webcast will run continuously through liftoff and end just after Starliner enters Earth orbit shortly after the launch. Space.com will simulcast the NASA livestream on this page, and you'll be able to watch it on our webcast page. Boeing will host its own Starliner launch livestream, likely using NASA's broadcast at its Starliner launch website. ULA will also host its own Starliner launch webcast on its own Atlas V mission website. However, NASA will not end its launch webcast there. The space agency will hold a press conference early Tuesday, May 7th, at 12 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 4 o'clock GMT, to discuss the results of Starliner's launch. That press conference will be led by NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Elroy, a former astronaut and space shuttle commander, and be live-streamed on NASA TV and NASA's YouTube channel. Livestream events are also planned for docking and crew arrival on Wednesday, May 8th. If Boeing's Starliner CFT mission can't launch on May 6th, the company and its launch partner United Launch Alliance do have some options. Currently, Boeing, ULA and NASA have four opportunities to launch the CFT mission, one each on May 6th, May 7th, May 10th, and May 11th. If Starliner is unable to launch on the night of May 6th, Boeing and its partners could make a second attempt as early as Tuesday night, May 7th, at 10.11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 2.11 GMT. Depending on the nature of the issue, said NASA's Steve Stitch. If a May 7th launch is not possible, Boeing could attempt Starliner launches to the ISS on Friday, May 10th, or on Saturday, May 11th. A May 10th launch would be scheduled for 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, May 11th, 0100 GMT and a May 11th launch would occur at 8.38 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 12.38 GMT, NASA officials said. 